another thing regarding the toolkit, I have a note here. <clears throat> um, so Reverend Slim, he just got some new new height speakers, and he was talking about how he uses. I mean, he's the one who kind of made it up. He's the reason why we we did it on on the toolkit, where he uses test tones on adjacent speakers to really focus in and, and figure out whether something's imaging properly between the two speakers, right? Now, this is different than typical time alignment because if you time align with, let's say, Odyssey or Dirac, even though, even though you're doing multiple seats, the multiple seats are more for the, uh, the frequency response. When it does the time alignment, I'm pretty sure for all of them, it's time aligning to a specific spot. So that's with one mic in one position, right? Well, we have two ears, so that's actually needs two positions to to even do a, a main listening position, right? Because then you're compromising. If it's just one, then it's maybe you're gonna put it like in between your head, right? But that that slight difference there is detectable, right? So yeah, Reverend Slim says Odyssey does it from the first mic position. I believe Dirac does as well, <clears throat> and so. What is that difference? Let's say Mike is here, right? Versus your ear is here, your other ear is here. If I have a surround speaker that's maybe, you know, five feet away, that's enough of a difference for us to be able to tell, right? It doesn't seem like it would be a, a huge difference, but there is. And so when you do a calibration with JRAC or Odyssey, any of these, it's going to align to a single position, but that's not exactly what we hear. So you may find that Using our toolkit, you may have to make some slight adjustments because our ears are different, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so it's always important to to you know not trust your ears, but like verify with your ears, right? Like what the mic is saying is true. Like that's about where it's aligned to a single mic, but we don't. We that's not how we work. We have two ears. So typically, the correct way to do it would be you align the left speaker, whatever speaker is on the, on the left, to your left ear, because that's the one that arrives at first. So your front left arrive at your left ear first. Your center speaker, if you're right in the middle, should arrive at both ears at the same time, right? But that notice the difference, like at the angle from here to here, right? Let's say the speaker is pretty far. It goes to your left ear. That's going to be slightly different path than straight ahead right towards a single mic so those small differences i think can uh, be the difference of whether the image snaps into place or whether it sounds kind of in the right area but maybe somewhat diffuse right so like in car audio uh the thing is like trying to get a solid center image right yeah have it yeah. snap into place and when you adjust the delays i might be just adjusting very tiny increments right but when you're listening to a pink noise or somebody's voice, there's a certain point where it kind of goes out of phase a little bit, out of phase the other way, and then one point where it's just like, Psh, that's the perfect setting, right? It snaps directly in the, in the place. And the thing about our hearing that's kind of crazy is that we are able to de detect very small differences in delays because the diff distance from here to here, that's a very small amount of delay. Right. But we're used to using that to tell where something is coming from. Right. So even though it's like six and a half inches from here to here, that is going to be the difference whether something snapped into place. So what does that have to do with uh, our toolkit? Our toolkit has a section specifically for that, where you play tones from adjacent speakers and you want to see if it's imaging directly in between them. And you can make small adjustments to the delay and you'll find some small adjustments can make a big difference in imaging. Let me know if you guys have tried this, you know, anybody out there who has our toolkit. I know Reverend Slim definitely has tried that. Um, <laughs> I think he's tried everything. Yeah, he's tried. But uh, I'm wondering if you guys have, have noticed that. Have you used that to kind of like really dial in your imaging? Yeah. Hey, are we going to do any sales or, or no? I know we, we got... Something coming up? No. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, that's going to be posted on the Instagram. Is everybody following the Instagram? What's our? Do we have a a link 
go ahead and throw a link up. Um, yeah, we'll do. We should do a sale for uh, what's the next holiday coming up? Uh, St. Patrick's is that? Oh, it's March, huh? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we could do something for for that. There, there's a a link right there. Instagram.com forward slash spatial group. So yeah, keep stay up to date there because that's usually where we post it. Um, you know, sometimes we will have a sale, but we're we didn't make a video, so you may miss it if you don't see it there. So <laughs> Ciesa says April Fool's sale, 15% more expensive. Oh, I like that idea. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. And op- can you even do that like a, a discount code that's the opposite? Yeah. Negative. I don't know. I don't think so because it's always off. It's priced off 